Hello, it's James here from Riley's Autos. Today we're going to change the front drive shaft axle on the front of this Audi here. First, we're going to take out the wheel nuts. Then we're going to remove the drive shaft nut here in the center. And it's a 27 millimeter. Once that's done, right, right back in here, all the way around the drive shaft there you can see we've got some bolts. Now we can get a long reach in here to get in or you can go under the car and get to it from there. So it's your choice really. I prefer to do it from outside, so I'm gonna remove these two 25 T25 torque bolts and just give us a little bit of access to get our long reach extension in there rather than laying on my back under the car. So once we've got those bolts taken off, and then remove this. can see the bolts a lot clearer there going all the way around and if you spin the disc from here you can see you can spin it all the way around so you can get to each bolt best place that I can see to get onto the bolts is from the back end here so we've got this long extension on it now we're just going to open them and before you try to open them, just make sure it's tapped all the way in because you don't want to round them off. If it's too tight we can use a ratchet. Just on top of the brake disc here, we can slot a screwdriver to stop the disc turning as we're trying to open the bolts. You just want to hold it nice and straight. Along with the screwdriver we've put a bolt in here to stop the inside turning. So now we're gonna have a go at opening it. screwdriver out and turn it around to the next bolt and put our screwdriver back in the disc here again and a couple of taps again This is a M10, M10 spline. And again, pull our screwdriver out and turn until we've got it. Got 
Put the bolt there where we can see it again. And then put our screwdriver back inside. Once all of those bolts are out, we should be able to just grab it and move it to the side of it. Then we can come around here to the front where we've wound out this bolt. We're going to push it all the way in just to push the drive shaft out. Now we're going to take that bolt out. And around the back, we should just be able to wiggle the drive shaft around. back in there so now we can get a new drive shaft In, in the same order there, slide it up to the bottom. They've got the front end in here where the caliper is. And just give it a pull and it'll lock in the place there. And then back down to your end. We just need to align it to the bolt holes. And then get it bolted in. in you don't tighten it up just put it in loosely and then we can get the rest of the bolts in so you want to get all of the bolts in uh, before you tighten any of them we're going to do the same here again we're just going to twist it around on the end there just feed it through and wind her in same again next one
once they're all in and tighten down my hand you can get the ratchet on just go around each one and just give it a good tighten down now we've just got this big bolt to put back in there and then we're almost done back on once the wheels on just let the jack down Job done.